Hey everybody, it's Sandwich. Welcome back. This is Sapia by Petian, and it is a unique little number that caught my eye because if we load in here, you'll see everything is in Sapia tone, and we are in World War One, and that is a really interesting historical setting to put this in. Of course, there are demons here, it seems, but I needed to check this out. Looks like we have film reels down there, and uh just a unique look uh, and a, a fascinating historical time period for me. I figure why not just give this a shot. I have not played, well, more than just loading it up to make sure it worked. There we go. And we are in the trenches. There's a cyber demon walking around in the enemy trench. Now, I don't remember, you know, I, I, I'm not a World War One expert. I I think if the Germans had those, they may have been a little bit more successful. Thankfully, they didn't, I guess. And uh, as you can see, the trenches were, uh, oh, they could get pretty gross filling up with water. So, so far, a little, uh, there's, 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 I won't say historically accurate because we're fighting Hell Knights and, uh, Hopefully there aren't too many barons because it might be hard to tell them from the Hell Knights because they literally can't be differentiated as far as I can tell. Now, uh, what's going to happen with this? Oh, well, I don't think I wanted to do that. Why did I let him out? Ew. That's mines. Okay, um, wait a minute. Oh, he just blew up in the minefield and I missed it. I I heard something and I didn't realize that's what happened. That's actually okay. So don't step in the minefield. Not like a cyber demon gets killed in one hit. Um. Oh, well. I think I found an enemy trench and uh, it's occupado. Um. Excuse me. I don't like these revenants. It's kind of... Oh. So it's interesting trying to fight under these conditions. Some of your ability to... Like, recognize enemies is slightly compromised for obvious reasons. But I'm alive here. Kind of ate the most of a soul sphere, but I'm alive. Oof. Uh, I'm guessing that's a regular armor, not a mega armor. <laughs> uh, not sure I can... Oh, that's the exit. Well, we can tell now. It's a regular armor. Guess there's a secret. A pretty brief map to start us off, but we, we, we saw the trenches and we saw that uh, enemy mines are quite formidable. Jesus. Uh, this is a work in progress wad. It is seven maps right now, I believe, but apparently maybe more in the future. Radio bunker. Pistol starting encouraged, it looks like. That's nice. Um, we've got this, some sort of dynamite. Uh, okay, that's nothing. Looks like we have a little bit of a wire here. Maybe it's for dynamite, maybe it's for communication. I'm not sure. It looks like it ends right there, though. Or maybe it doesn't. We'll see. Now, I don't think there's so much of a story, but it's interesting to think about, like, what if World War I was against demons? I mean, I suppose the propaganda at the time sort of made it out to be that, but... Hey. This is kind of a what-if scenario. It's, usually you didn't want to peek up over the trench. You might be, might be hit by a sniper or something, but uh, it doesn't look like those are out of force right now, thankfully. Berserk pack. That might be more... Ooh, that might be more useful than a trench shotgun in this circumstance. We've got a chain gunner that's actually sniping us. I don't know if he just came out. But, uh, oh. Uh, 
Now, if only we had, you know, maybe one of those early tanks might help, or maybe they won't. They didn't seem very useful for a clone. Yeah, it... I, I, I like the feel of this. I mean, you could probably do, like, a Wolfenstein mod that would lean heavily more into, like, fighting human hit scanners, but... It's kind of interesting to just be like, yo, this is Doom. But with this, like, somewhat accurate depiction of just historical wars. It's an interesting contrast. Um, that's a room with stuff in it. I'm scared. Oh, wow, we've got this big trench system set up here. Um, there is that other direction. But maybe we want to get the plasma gun. Seems like there's there's a. Oh, okay. I could actually get the ambush started first. Oop. There we go. Actually, there's got a shells there. Kind of afraid of triggering something in here. One does not simply pick up a plasma gun. Or do they? I like the chain gun set up like... Kind of like machine guns, I guess? Um... Yeah, we can actually just pick that up now that I've dispatched the enemy. Ah, yes. The key... the, the yellow... or... The Sapia key card. Uh, now, the World War One footage I've seen, at least the, the movies, were all black and white, but I suppose... I, I don't remember when Sapia video was necessarily common, or if it was that was more uh, photographs, but I think the work looks anyway. Uh, the, 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 look, the look works with this. Um, it's interesting that the music is not necessarily going... Okay, I thought that wall would stop me. Uh, you can just mine yourself if you like. This music is not... It's kind of upbeat. Um, it's got some marching drums in it, I guess that sort of works, but um, it's not going for... that World War One bleak despair feel, actually. Just kind of... It's uh, interesting that it's going for that. Dude, that guy was about to infight. Should just have him... Uh, unfortunately, I hit him early on, so let's just... Um, I do have a plasma rifle. It's actually a little harder to see in my uh, arms which weapons I have, you, well, but I just picked it up, so I shouldn't have forgotten. Uh, there we go. There is a switch there, don't worry, I saw it. So far, I've been coming across these guys just kind of like hiding in their bunkers. And, uh... I suppose that makes sense, especially if there's a lot of shelling going on. Um... Oh, can I... Okay, I'm guessing I can go back out that way. Let's... Oh, well... I'm supposed to cross no man's land here? I don't know how I feel about that. What did that do? I don't know. Maybe I lowered that. What's this do? You need a dark key. Okay, so they accounted for the, the key situation. That's good. Another one I did that had a uh, sort of noir uh, look to it also did that with the keys, so... Smart. Any other hit scanners around? Isn't that what they said in World War One? Like, what's the deal with all these hit scanners, man? God. It used to be we had to run within, like... Run within, like, I don't know pretty close up to shoot people. Now we got all these hit scanners that are sniping us in World War One. The world just wasn't ready for hit scan technology at the time. I'm getting hurt by this 
mustard gas or something. Is that... Oh, wow. Okay. Makes sense. For a second, I thought I would run up onto the mines there. Okay, let's pick up this ammo. And we've got the containment area of the trenches. Okay. Arch files, actually. Should probably dispatch him. Of course, uh, World War One pioneered a lot of medical technology just to obviously deal with the tre tremendous amount of casualties. And arch vials are at the forefront of that progress, really helping to revive soldiers and keep them in the battle for longer. I know this because I took a course in college. Um, looks like the arch file was in there. Is that a... Mega armor back there? Ah. And if so, how would I get to it? Can I like... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's nothing. What? I thought I saw an... I swear I saw an armor somewhere. I'm not crazy. Am I crazy? I mean, I could... Oh! That looks like a mega armor. Uh, this is where I... Yeah, this was the other direction I could have gone. Uh, I think I was on the right track there. Um, I can... How did I do that? How did I do that? Um, that was also something that was learned during the course of World War One was that uh, if soldiers actually uh, strafed, they could actually outrun enemy machine gun fire. Is this just going to kill me? Instantly. Okay. Those mines are r filled right to the brim. Right to the goddamn brim. Now, if Doom Guy had been in the First World War, he may have actually gotten to the enemy trench just by... Uh, especially if he SR-50. Like, SR-40 maybe, but SR-50. Okay, so that actually comes down. Uh, probably, you know what, I could have actually maybe hit that from the other side. But... Okay. Alright, now we are cooking. And I killed all the monsters, I just realized I did not need that armor. The exit is just... Into no man's land. Trench altar! Huh. We're getting into... Now, the whole, like, occult World War I setting is a cool thing that I've seen in some games. I wonder if this is going to go into that. I mean, uh, Trenchfoot and Countryside sort of had a World War... Sorry, uh, well, it's a World War I slash Warhammer 40k vibe to it that... that I really liked. Uh, but that was in full color, so it was unrealistic. Uh, which, yeah, terrible. Um... This is... Not exactly bleak music, but it's... I don't know, I feel like I'm being... tucked into bed and told some... Grandpa's telling me stories from the war right now. Got some nice Zimmer textures on the walls. Oh, he died before I shot him, did you see that? So, uh... I think that's telling us that uh, maybe you don't walk there. That's, uh, I think I may have gathered that. He shot while the door was down. What a jackass. Uh, I don't... What? I'm sorry. What is wrong with this technology here? What doesn't belong? Why is there a TV with a 3D model on it in 19... like, 15... Um, okay, so we can actually go here. Let's grab that key, I guess. I was just seeing if this was a dead end. I'd like to be methodical. In my, uh... I'm 
Is that a... I'm sorry, I thought I saw a switch there. Oh. Well, I didn't even save. Great job. Do not worry, with the magic power of these newfangled video recording technologies, I was able to pause and come back here. Ah, you see, I actually blew up the minefield. Awesome. That's actually a really cool secret there. Thematic and everything. All right. So this is a this is a strange area. Let's uh, try to deal with it this time. Whoop. Whoop. He was not focused on what he should have been focused on, which was taking care of me. Megasphere helped us out there. Um, got the Megasphere opening that nice little panel. Uh, right. So we have the key. We can go back there. Let's check this place out again. It's called Trench Mark. Ah, got the. Uh, little ammo cache here and you know standard world war one rocket launcher which didn't really have tanks to deal with i don't think they had exactly bazooka type weapons at least not for a long time um oh okay i see them they're oh jesus can you see me I think I have with an auto rate. That guy can see me, but he can't quite. This is, uh. Let's get behind this wall. Oh, I'm. So, I, I you know what? I gotta hug this wall. Do I have anything for this guy? This is a dangerous situation. Wow. Let's try this again. All right. Uh, maybe we want to use the rocket launcher here because I... Is there any ammo? No. I... Did I get... There's the exit. <laughs> Oh, that one actually... Okay, uh, this is a tough one. We're gonna have to... Really make sure that we're safe from that cyber demon and, uh... The fact that we're... Running low on some ammo doesn't help either. Is that a bear? No. Oh. Wonder if there are. It's possible they didn't put barons in this, just to avoid being too uh, difficult to identify. Uh, I see a caco head. Is that a dead caco? Well, I'm guessing I'll be able to kill that cyber somehow soon. At least I hope so. That. that shell box. Oh, jeez. Scared of that cyber demon. Uh, there is only one difficulty level of this right now, and that is ultra violence. And as you can see, it is ultra violent. Um, I'm guessing there might be something around here to like blow this guy up, like right. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, 
That might be a little bit of a theme going forward because that's happened in a couple maps now. Which, uh... Hey, I mean... I'm not quite sure, but that one one strategy to sort of break stalemates was definitely to mine underneath trenches and just load it with dynamite and blow it up. And it's almost kind of what <laughs> seems to be happening with those switches. So, uh, most historically accurate Doomwad ever made. Uh, <laughs> Dead Forest. Yeah, we got yeah we got some like bunker installations here. Ooh, I should have gone for that berserk earlier. I can still go for it here. There we go. Ooh, got him right in the ankles. Imagine punching so someone in the leg so hard that their entire body blows apart. Oh, that's power. Oh, whoa! I can actually go into these. That's a little trippy. Looks like we're gonna need the dark key for this. I need a brown key! Whoa, whoa. Not the dark key, the brown key. Totally different. Uh, I don't know why this sounds like pirate music to me. Wanted to punch that guy, but auto switch knew not my plans. That's interesting the way that crate is like open. I don't know if it's broken or what. Uh, can I get over there to that? Wait. How did... Is there a reason to get that health potion up there? It's like, literally... Is that like a secret of some kind? So you can get over to this one, but... Uh, I'm just being, like, trying to be thorough here. Is that just there just for, you know, whatever. Two secrets. I actually did get up there, but there was nothing there. Don't worry. Just a health bonus. Uh, hello? <laughs> Punched him right onto the super shotgun. Whoa! Now, oh, Berserk Pack probably would have proven pretty useful in the trenches. Obviously, they had stuff like trench shotguns and a lot of hand to hand combat in places, which blows my mind the idea of these scenes of hundreds of people jumping into trenches, whacking them with anything they had on hand. Kind of unbelievable to read about some of that stuff. Get me the f hell out of there. Give me... Yeah, I dodged that. What? Oh, shit. Please don't take all of my Megasphere. A lot of guys. You know, it's not really fair if the enemy can just teleport into your trench. The whole idea was it was hard to get over there, and now you just. Back in my day, we had to walk to the enemy trench uphill both ways, and now, now look at these. Look at these 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 newfangled demons just teleporting right in. What is that? It's it's not. It's not the war that I remember. Um, kind of interesting seeing this like, like overhead map of this trench system. Uh, 
Try to explore all of them here. Never know what'll be tucked away. Ah. Oh shit, tried to block me in, didn't you? Oh, I thought I had to... Thought I had my uh, chain gun out. <laughs> but uh, thankfully we had a lot of that uh, soul sphere left. So, no worries. This is uh, UV only so far, but uh, difficulty has been some tight, some tight trench combat here. But I've made some pretty sloppy plays, and I'm still good. So if you find a couple of those secrets, you'll be you'll be all right. Uh, I'd like to get this guy. I've actually, been kind of sneaky with some of the traps. That they're hitting with me, uh, they're kind of teleporting in the trenches all around, so you can't just run away easily. We'll need to keep that in mind for traps upcoming. If we think we can just easily escape. This wad's gonna try to punish that, although it, it did help to... ...get out of that immediate area. He's getting lost in the trees a little. I actually had to stop talking to here and make sure I wasn't dying already. Come on. There we go. Quite a lot of monsters left. Fortunately, we have to get into this bunker complex. Oh. Well, you didn't want me to come in here, did you? Feels like something. Wait, what? Um, I may have missed a rather large secret of some sort. Uh, but uh, let's just keep on rolling through these train tracks here. Oh, I'm getting fired on. These are. This is. Okay, it's on in this level very quickly. Even the music's a little more dramatic. Is there anything in there I want? I'm guessing not, since that's all gonna hurt me. I will get the armor, actually. I don't want my trusty. Super trench gun. Whoa. Almost killed me there. What are we on map five? See how long this takes, but they've been pretty short, punchy maps, which is the opposite of a long and drawn out World War One was in a way. You know, if you wanted to make a map really go with the theme, you would just make the all be really long slogs and no fun at all, which is a bad idea. It's probably best to do it this way. And again, there's um, several episodes planned for this, so it's possible it could get to that point. Who knows? Okay, it did not actually spring an ambush this time. Look at this dead, destroyed land. Definitely reminiscent of some of the pictures you see. Hmm. Well, this is ominous. Just large, empty bunker complexes. Yes, I am going to keep checking behind me to make sure I'm not getting blanked. Sometimes you get a feel for what the mapper is going to do to you. Oh. 
Having the rocket launcher out before an ambush is always risky business because they might end up teleporting right in front of you. Oh, a megasphere. Let's wait for that. That's maybe wait till we uh, are low on. Oh, I don't think these guys can actually leave. I think that that ceiling might be a little low for them. I'm not sure. Okay, that's the same area that the other door was going to. Okay, so we're kind of wrapping around this complex here, and then this is the middle with a BFG and a key. Ooh, baby. Oh, big. And this is all going to open up. Is this entire area going to turn into one giant room? It's quite possible. In fact, I might even say likely. Uh, let's maybe bide our time without the Megasphere as long as we can. Because we don't quite need it yet. Uh, it's not actually open yet. Uh, is there a way to escape? Is there a way to escape right now? Now there is. Set to survive for a time. The cybers still alive. Looks like there's teleport lines around. That cyber just appeared and disappeared for a second. That's scary. There's another cyber. Don't know how I'm still alive. Uh, but I believe I picked up that Megas... Uh, I'm pretty sure one of those guys is very damaged, but I don't know which one. I would like to kill them, though, even if I don't have to. We can't let the enemy control their cyber demons still. They could turn the tide of the war. However, I think I only got one of them. I only hit one of them pretty hard there. Let's do it. Do it for the homeland. Come on. This is not how I wanted this to go. By the way, there's something just like firing on me from behind this whole time. Yeah. Finally. Did I get a berserk pack? Just punch this. Just punch him out in normal style. Uh, did I miss anything? Just a little bit of plasma. I think I, I would like some more, but. One secret that I've not found. Uh, kind of surprised. I think I I was able to survive that. I think I was down to seven health at one point after running into like after both cyber demons teleported. So got a bit fortunate in that case. I actually got all the monsters there. Uh, just some more plasma, I guess, if you want to finish them off. The BFG. There's a fun frantic uh, battle there. No Man's City. I've heard of No Man's Land and No Man's Sky, but this is ridiculous. Oh, shh. Come on, die, dude. Uh, where is the cyber demon that I heard wake up? And where is my chain gun? 
And where? Armor. Can't quite get in there. Um. Oh, I did get a chain gun. Okay. Well, in that case. This guy doesn't give a shit about the man with the gun. Just the imps. Oh shit. I guess there was a bit of a uh, mutiny there for a second. Is that, a, is that a game of backgammon? Yo, backgammon's awesome. I used to play that with my dad all the time when I was younger. Oh, there's a trench gun. Um, speaking of mutinies, there was a great mute French mutiny that almost, I think, cost the war. I remember reading, uh, uh, it was to such a scale that if the Germans had learned of it, they probably would have just immediately won, but they just had no idea that large sections of the trenches were just barely manned because the French army was... Well, pretty much refusing to fight in large numbers. Uh, not, I mean, probably for fairly good reason. They were fighting a <laughs> horrific war, but funnily enough, it was Marshal Patin who I think helped quelled that by instituting some popular measures. Uh, I say uh, a bit ironic because he then became a uh, collaborator during the Second World War and uh, that pretty much ended any goodwill anyone ever had for him, but kind of an interesting part of World War I history that no doubt that monster infighting was uh, aiming to replicate. Um, so, again, incredibly realistic wad. This is exactly like how the war went. Oh. Now, Kako Demons, those would have been useful. They had pretty, pretty limited uh, air reconnaissance at the time, and maybe some hand drop bombs, but Kako Demons, now that would have been something. Uh, am I supposed to... I never went for those imps because they were just, like, basically on a... They were all on, like, platforms far away, and I just don't want to waste the ammo right now, you know? Uh, but I do have lots of plasma, and I'm gonna have to use it right here, actually. Stop fighting. I guess there are no mines right there exactly. Uh, can I go up that way? Ooh. I don't actually have a rocket launcher. Don't need that armor. Oh. Watch our chain gunner. Uh, is, can you just walk, just walk over this way? Hmm. We could go in there, but it looks like I can walk over here and maybe pick up. Whoa, look at this. Oh, oh I want to fire rocket in there so bad right now. Is this called No Man's City? This huge destroyed city. This is this is dialing in the atmospherics a little bit more now. The music and the the map. Let's try to take shelter in this building for a second. See if there's anything that can help us, like a rocket launcher. Onto a few cells just in case. Uh, 
Yep, there's a cyber demon. Oh, I'm out. Did I not go over some plasma? Yeah. Well, that's a that's an evil one right there. Um I thought I went over that plasma box. Apparently I didn't. That's what cosmic cost, cost me there. Um, oh. oh, I don't have a rocket launcher yet. For some reason, I thought I maybe picked one up. Um, well, here's a problem. I don't really have a, 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 a weapon to take that guy out right now. Pretty limited. I'm guessing there's a rocket launcher I just never got. Oh, I can't get out! I can't really waste my ammo on this guy right now, can I? Getting the hell out of that. What? Stop that. Oh, didn't see that guy. So sometimes seeing your enemies a little more challenging. That guy kind of blended in. Uh, right? It's interesting. This one, there's... It's a bunch of enemies that I just have not really had the ammo to really... Well, optional enemies that it doesn't really make sense for me to take out. That's a soul sphere at the end of the... There's a key up there, but... I wouldn't be surprised if I missed a rocket launcher or something, just... Um... It's possible it might blend in a little bit more with this sapia tone, but is there... That's just like where I was, right? Anything over here? There's a key up there. Um. Okay. How about like this area? It's the exit. I need two keys. Yeah. They're firing at me. What is over here? This is where I came from, right? Did I miss a rocket launcher somewhere? It's not by the backgammon game. Possibly it is a... It's not... You can't go in that way. That's just gonna kill me if I get on top of there. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we 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 looked over there. Let's go get that key. Uh, go get that key, please. I wonder if this is going to spawn some stuff. Yes, it is. Get out of the open and into the trenches. Makes sense. Uh, this feels like a water rocket launcher. For the 40 freaking rockets that I have. I mean... Oh, jeez. 
Oh. I'm in it now. And I'm kind of stuck here. I honestly think I... I might have to pause and like... When I don't make, out of, make it out of this, figure out where I left that rocket launcher. Assuming... Um... Thing is, I got stuck in here, but like you kind of can't really be in the open because you're gonna get stuff. So I'll have to do, I'll have to look around. Okay, folks, I was right. Uh, I didn't even notice this door. <laughs> I think I tried to go in here, and I never opened this. Uh, maybe pro possibly because with software rendering and sapia tone, it's a little harder to pick out. But uh, maybe you saw it. There's the rocket launcher, and there's me dying, most likely. Uh, boy, that uh, level would have been a bit easier, don't you think? That's fine. Just a little bit of a rocketless run for part of that. Um, that's a s secret. Oh, and a megasphere. Wow. That certainly changes things a little bit. Um, we can actually get out this way back to the key area. Perfect. 52 rockets now. Still have that cyber in there, but I'm not going to worry about him. We're going to need all the ammo we can get with this. Now, I'm not sure where I was getting hit scanned from. I don't really want to jump into those trenches again. I think this area to this side is a wider area. I'm going to avoid getting stuck in so badly. Let's try it. Chain gunners. Yeah. Just kind of dust them. Oh, jeez. And all metals. Let's just try to, like, penetrate the enemy lines there. Taking out these lost souls will be helpful for when I want to rocket stuff. So they don't base rocket me. There is a cyber demon way in the distance there, so I'm actually afraid of just standing around here now. Sort of forgot about him. But we've cleared out. Okay, there's actually a pan elemental still in the mix. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, actually hurting from that. Did I just get shot by a chain gunner? It may have been a lost soul. I hear one to my right. Okay, okay, this is this is awkward now. Watch out for those lost souls. Got my back against the wall here a little bit, or against the hill, as it were. Somehow able to eke that one out. Um, is there anything in the trenches back? The cyber demon's dead. There's a mancubus right there. I'm not sure how the cyber demon died. Perhaps it was timed. Thank you. Killed him with... Uh, I have some rockets left, actually. Alright, I was able to... Scrape my way through that one. What are you doing? Jesus. Okay, but now I could really use some of those resources that I left. That, um, I have both keys. The only thing left is really just for funsies. Oh, they actually like teleported their corpses there. That's amusing. Um, there's two monsters left, one of which is just that cyber that 
You just leave him there to his fate to just endlessly walk around that little bunker room. I hear something else as well. I'm not even sure I have enough rockets to deal with them, to be honest. It's just, uh... But I like this map a lot. This, like, whole destroyed city with... You, you got, like, the hills behind it. Definitely a scary uh, large ambush as well. There we go. No Man's City. And... Looks like we're gonna be... Radio static noise. Oh, is this like Morse code? Uh, I, I I don't know. Is this like an encrypt? So if you at home know Morse code, take a screenshot and see if you could let me know what this says. Because uh, I'm not going to try, but uh, I'm sure that says something like, uh, hey, nerd, why did you bother translating this into Morse code? What is that? Uh, excavation site. This sounds a little bit more like World War II, like the whole occult, you know, Nazi thing. Uh, but perhaps it's a little going on in World War One. Who knows? Seems like this is dark as hell. Oh, there go the lights. Um... Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. You can get this guy. Oh! quite realized there I wasn't sure about what might be around that corner sort of huh it's like some analog equipment oh uh, interesting what I did I thought that would be a key switch I was not prepared at all. That to actually trap me. Oh, it's a super shotgun. Maybe I did want to go this way. Oh. Um. Uh, yep. Yeah. Do I want to go this way, though? It's over... It's over here. You know, I probably do want to get that super shotgun. But here's here's the thing. If I can get some more ammo around here, I can go back and get it, because I just... I didn't have enough to quite finish the encounter. There's a shotgun box. But if I can get some more bullets... Oh, there's a rocket launcher. Uh, bunker there. Ooh, chain gunner in there. I'm sorry. Okay, that turned into a minefield that wasn't there. So, <laughs> geez. Maybe I want to deal with this first then. That was bold. Probably stupid. I got an SSG out of it though. 
I just, I'm so impatient for that SSG. I just waited right in there and didn't give it an F. Okay, we got some bullets now. Can't get those chain guns, unfortunately. Uh, do I save with 29% health? I mean, sure, why not? I mean, if it's too little, I'll just pause and restart until uh, I get back to where I was, but... Hey guys. By the way, how do I get in there? That must be the secret, right? Let's just take this guy out before that ambush. That should probably help us out. Uh, any, like, any way to get in here? Maybe there's a cave? Halfway. Looks like there's something, something like along these walls, possibly. And it's through there. I don't know why this is like glowing? I guess it's a light. Uh, anything around this equipment that maybe might do it? Not that I see. I just have to resign myself to not getting that juicy, juicy room. Like, look at that. There's like a... Wait, what? Look, there's a line! There's a line right here. Maybe it's only like one way. Uh... Maybe that opens later. Got more stuff here at least. That's also an exit. Hmm. There's a there's a there's there's a thing there's a switch here, but there's also this. Well, this might be a puzzle. Like this will kill me. It didn't kill me. Oh. I'm locked in here though. And there's an arch file. Okay, that's pretty heinous. Killed the arch file. More space here. Dead anyway. I've got 61 health and 25 armor. That's actually... Wait a minute. How much time do I have here? Okay, I actually have time to pick up these stim packs. That's, uh, that's big. That's important. Okay, now we can... Did I not get him? Okay, somehow he got... It's possible a chain gunner took him out or something. Um, a decent store of bullets. We were able to take out that pain elemental. Whoa! Oh. Almost didn't see that chain gunner. You said, did you see... Did you see that chain gunner roll around the corner? He was about to end me. Oh, got lucky. Caught him just in time. Um, can't really get in there. Still has not opened up for me. Makes me mad. 58 health. Is this another... Um, oh. Why are they in there? Well, you guys seem pretty... 
Pretty confined there. I'm not going to worry about that. BFG. Tons of rockets. Okay. You're going to let me just pick up all this? Oh, what the... Okay, that's just the exit. Okay. Well... Looks like we got... Now, unfortunately, I don't have that backpack that was in the secret. So I won't be able to fill up entirely, although it looks like that's just all the rockets anyway, so we don't actually have to worry too much about that. Can't get up there to the key. Two keys, actually. Well, we're going to grab the BFG. I'm going to take a sip of water. Grab that. Uh, 180 cells. Not a ton of shots. Fortunately, a few wasted as well. Don't know where the arch file is there. Somehow dodge that by hugging the wall. Another arch file, that's rough. That's really rough. Uh, there is more health here. Got a blast on that cyber. Again, don't quite know how I'm still alive, I'll be honest. But I got tons of rockets for the Revenant cleanup. <sighs> I honestly thought that Archfile was dead, I'll be honest. I, you know, like I said, a little bit harder to pick guys out of the crowd. But now that I know this is happening... Picking that guy off immediately, oh, that's going to help. Um, that arch file is still alive. I was hoping to really take care of him very early on. Uh, trying to just move outside of the margins of the crowd here, but... I actually got the arch vial. Huh. I think this could be salvaged. Possible. Should probably save these rockets for revs. Caught that one. Picking up all the stim packs I can. I um, was so busy trying to pick up the BFG there to hit that cyber in the butt. That I just caught a Revenant rocket. Obviously, very chaotic situation. Honestly, living long... Trying to get behind the pillars whenever I get fire like that, but... It's honestly hard to... Just keep moving without getting... Ugh. And there's an arch file here. That somehow has not been... Is not infighting. Tough one, tough one. I actually got him. I gotta say, uh, sometimes tracking projectiles in the sapia tone when there's so much 
The bright reds can really help you out. Oh, that was a squeeze. Uh, so definitely tricky to figure out with this color change, but this is the last battle, so I feel like a slaughter-esque situation like this makes, makes sense as a denouement. But uh, I also just saw that that bar actually lowered, so we can, I think, escape. But what fun would that be? Let's, let's, let's not show any mercy or fear. Um, we can... Oh, I actually got hit by the... Of course, uh, always nice to take advantage of an infighting cyber demon. Can't believe I got hit by that one. Is that everything? Wow. Okay, that was a fun fight. Pretty scary, though. Especially when everything's the same color, almost. <laughs> but, uh, it's a fairly well balanced for it is uh sorry there are keys up here is this how i oh do i actually just do this okay the dark key card come on i guess this that that stops you from just like escaping um although this opened up earlier Oh, this is just like another way to the... Okay. What are the monsters that I didn't kill? Just the Mancubi? Might as well get... Never figured that out, but I might as well... I mean, it's not even 100% though, right? Because like... Of course they can fire through. There's uh, three more monsters that... Maybe they spawn in the secret? So unfortunately, I don't really feel like exploring around too long to find out, but how much fun was that anyway? <sighs> Damn. Tricks and traps, sapia tone. I think, I thought this said uh, seven plus one in the thread. Uh, so, this looks like tricks and traps, right? This is not, this is not World War One. But, uh, well, that's gonna do it for that one, I guess. Uh, that's a lot of fun. Um, and I like what it did with the theme. It's, it's got some various nods to parts of that war, but it's also just a series of fairly quick, uh, punchy maps. And, um, I mean, check it out, uh, Give your thoughts in the thread and encourage them to make more episodes of this because i'd love to see how they build on it from there and i thought that slaughter encounter at the end was fairly uh, well balanced and and fun uh, and it was a nice kind of finale so i hope you enjoyed that as well and uh, i will see you next time for more classic doom content don't forget to drop a like or even subscribe if you want to get updates for more because i put out tons of videos and i like to stream on fridays too I'll see you later for that. Goodbye.